What's up everyone? Thanks so much for tuning into today's video, which is going to be a review of some new color icon palettes from Wet n Wild. These are 10 pan eyeshadow palettes they recently launched as well as they have five pan eyeshadow palettes. I don't have any of those to talk about today. I just happened to find these at my local Walgreens. So picked them up and wanted to talk about them. I don't have the official word from the brand cause I bought these or, and I just haven't been looking around the internet for the tea. If these are replacements for the old Older color icon palettes or are these in addition to? They are the same price. There isn't a sale on the older palettes to suggest that they might be kind of trying to purge the stock. So I don't know. I have so many questions, most of which won't get answered because I don't have the answers to them. But what we are going to answer today is, are they any good? Let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so these 10 pan palettes cost $5.99. There are four new color palettes available. However, I only picked up three because I wanted to pretend that I have self-control. Look at me, what a good shopper I am. Ignore the stuffed box of new purchases from Ulta in the corner. But seriously, let me know if you wanna see an Ulta haul. The first palette serves a lot of gold energy. It is called, oh no, oh no, they did. Wet n Wild has done this before where they put the color on the plastic that seals the thing together. So when you take the plastic off, you can't see what it's called. I will put them down in the description box and annotate them here in the video. One is a gold warm toned palette. Uh, the next one, is kind of a naked palette-esque, has some mauve, some pinky mauves. And this is really the strongest argument for why I didn't get the other, pa the one palette that I didn't get is it is a true berry party in that palette. And because there were like lots of pinks, but also earth tone pinks, and this has some earth tones also mixed with some, you know, ready berry pinks, I felt like they might be a little too redundant between the two of them, especially considering how many pinks, like romantic berry palettes I have. So so not that I don't have a lot that look like this, but I, again, this is the way we justify our shopping behaviors to ourselves. Am I right? And then the last one that I got is this really beautiful smoky pal that I'm, is what is on my eyes today. Ah, got me again. The name is still not on this palette, but it reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay. Was it just called the Smoked Palette? It was the Naked Palette format, but lots of deep smoky shades in there. Very similar to that. I mean, down to you have a matte black, a matte deep emerald green, a matte deep brown, a bronze, gr smoky grays and softened blacks. And then a really fun shimmery duochrome that I actually put in the center of my lid today. It's really more of like an iridescent shifty shadow nothing too opaque unless you foil it. But really overall, there are lots of fun shades in these palettes. Something uh, that actually strikes me as being different from the older color icon larger palettes, there was the Comfort Zone palette, which had a duochrome. Also the Petal Pusher, the Petal the Purple palette, I believe that had a duochrome, like a purple gold duochrome in it as well. But these actually have some iridescent multi-chromatic shadows to them, like in this gold palette. There's this one with an antique uh, gold sort of base and then kind of a greeny gold shift to it. Again, just some really fun, complex shades in here. Not a ton, but just enough to set these apart from previous Wet n Wild shadow palettes. In my experience with these, I have had really, really good experiences with all of the shadow finishes, not just the the shimmers, which I feel like can be, are, are more easy, easy to get right, but the mattes, which can sometimes be chalky or patchy or hard to blend and work with. And I think you'll see, especially in the look I'm wearing today, where I started off with the matte soft gray shadow, there were there was no patchiness here. There was no funny business in terms of sticking or clinging or hard to blend because then I went over top with a combination of the matte black and emerald green smudged together. Both of those blended beautifully into that softer gray. I just, I have a lot of good things to say about these palettes, which will really help soften the blow if come to find out the older color icon palettes are in fact going away. So those are my thoughts. Those are my swatches. I mean, for a palette that is $5.99, you really can't beat the quality and the size of the pans in these. So if you've seen these floating around the internet, you're not sure what to think of them. You've been curious, maybe you wanna give them a try and any of these color palettes appeal to you, Absolutely, go for it. They're totally worth it in my opinion. Two thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.